So we want to talk a little bit about profiles. Yes. There's so many different profiles out there that you can get with your stone. And you're going to walk us through some different variations. Yeah, so we're going to start right at the beginning with your basic profiles. These are mm -hmm. eased edge stones. Okay. These have no extra bevel to them, no extra material. They're straight cuts. Mm -hmm. They're your inexpensive way to get a nice clean line. It's yeah. modern. It's European. Um, people like it. Yeah. Um, and there's other options as well, but these are your basic options that you start off with. I like them. They're easy, simple, they're clean, they're not fussy at all, and also you save a little bit of money. Of course. Right? Okay, so next up, what do we have? So next up, if you want something a little bit bigger to show a little bit more of your countertop, mm -hmm. we go into the laminated edge stone. Ooh. So this one will actually take an extra piece of the countertop, glue it underneath to make it look like it's double the thickness. Got it. Now this is a great solution and it's more inexpensive than some of the other cuts, but uh -huh. one thing you'll notice is you have this shadow line here from the seam that goes together. Yeah, uh, like this I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that on TV, but there's a very light line there and you can tell like two pieces were put together. On light stones, you don't mm -hmm. see it as much. Things without a lot of veining, you won't notice it. Yeah. So it's a good option. Okay, all right. So uh, so this is one step up. What if we want to go even maybe a little bit fancier? Well, say you have something a little bit darker or say you have yeah. something with a lot of veining. You want to showcase that on the front. Mm -hmm. Then we go to these mitered edges. Okay. So you see here, we actually 45 this edge here yeah. and drop another piece of marble or stone down yeah. so that the lines can continue right through. So I'll just show you the mitering at the side there. So that's, that's a miter. So then you get these two pieces that that meld perfectly together, and you say the lines will carry through? Yeah, so that's the part of latitude that they really maximize. They make sure, these are separate pieces, Yeah. but what they do is they map it all out so the veins will continue right through and look like one solid piece down. I want to know that that person's getting paid a lot of money. I hope so. <laughs> because even for your eyes to try and match the veining, my nope. goodness, that is precision. Yeah, it's absolutely wild. Okay, next up. So next up, we're gonna go to some more detailed edge profiles. These were mm. all square. So then we're gonna head over to the shark nose. Ooh. So if you see the profile here, yeah. you can see it sharps, you know, comes in down on top of the cabinet. So look at how that is. And why is it called shark's nose? Well, if you imagine a shark that yeah. has that profile. I'd rather not actually, <laughs> but yes, let's imagine the shark. Yeah, and it has that profile that comes down. So it's just a way that they talk about it to make it, you know. Yeah. Give it something that makes sense. Exactly. Um, that's very cool. So we're, we're, we're talking a little bit more money now. Yes, this is a little bit more money than your yeah. basic square. Mm -hmm. But on this profile, it's three centimeters, so it's thicker. There's no extra material here. It's just one more cut on the saw and then polished up. Got it. The drama of the black, though. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely gorgeous. It is stunning. So another ornate cut. Yeah is the forward OG. Okay. So if you see this one, this one has quite a few details on it yep. with a laminated piece in front as well. Mm -hmm. But they still try to match up that veining as best as possible, even yeah. though these are two separate pieces. That is beautiful. And this for me is reading more traditional, it's, you know, or, or maybe even transitional, but there's something about it that is a bit traditional. And you can mix and match profiles. Put this on maybe an island yeah. and do something square somewhere else. Absolutely. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the uh, technology that's now available in terms of function? So there's technology advances every single day, but mm -hmm. some of the cool features that are available these days are things like wireless charging pads built into your countertop. Ooh, cool. You come home from work, you know where that wireless charging pad is, it's completely invisible, you put your phone on top of it, yeah. and all of a sudden it's charging. Well, I would love to know how many of you have the situation that I have at home, and it's a little corner that's supposed to be all neat and tidy, and it's just wires and cords and cables and chargers. I've got two teenagers, right? Oh. So they're all about it. Um, so that would be beautiful. Very cool And you could idea. probably put a few in. Like, you could. You could put them in high traffic the areas. Kids. Yeah, wherever you want. It. Okay, what else you got? Um, stove tops, integrated yeah. induction stove tops. Yes. It's completely hidden. You yeah. turn on that, that burner and boom, it lights up through the cap, through Woo! the countertop. Very cool. Very cool. Um, let's talk about some other cool features. You want a wow okay. feature. Yeah. So we're going to talk about a backlit stone. So let's Ooh. pretend your island is covered, face, side, and everything of this this beautiful natural stone. Lovely. We add some LED lights behind it yeah. at night. Let's add some mooding and boom. Oh, that is sexy. That is very nice. So like this means the party has started. Yes. Imagine you have a dinner party, you dim all the lights, you put candles, you just have that sexy lighting happening behind the island. 
That is gorgeous. Yeah. And I know we didn't necessarily talk money, but we should say that this goes from least expensive, would you say, to most? E give or take. The mitered yeah. edge does add quite a bit of money, as there is quite a bit of work involved, yeah. cutting those edges, polishing them, having it line up. Yeah. Um, with the mitered edges, you can even drop down further. So this is a perfect example. Say you want to make something look very chunky or big, mm -hmm. you put this on the edge of your countertop. Oh, nice. It now looks like a six-inch slab yes. as a vanity instead of just your inch-and-a-half or half-inch profile. Even though it's hollow underneath, which exactly. is beautiful. Thank you, Jason. A big shout-out to Latitude for the beautiful work with our City Line countertops. We absolutely love it.